Maria Kennedy Okewa, some people have not heard of this campaign of yours. I would like you to educate them on what it's all about. Thank you very much. Um, my campaign is start anti-women abuse campaign. It was born out of my personal experiences and what I observed in the society and also in some higher institutions. You see, day in, day out, women are being intimidated, humiliated, violated by men, and sometimes even fellow women. So is there any specific area you've set out to tackle this, or is it a general thing? Um, rape is top on my list. Do you know, having carnal knowledge of a woman without her consent is a crime. And those who perpetrate this crime, they are aware of this fact and they still do it. Because they believe that women are defenseless. I want every woman to know that she is not defenseless. That we can actually come together and form a formidable force against us. We can act of rape. <laughs> well, so this whole campaign thing is all about rape. No, the fight is geared towards um, putting a stop to every other form of violence or wickedness against women. And for its resurgence to be forestalled. So, how are you coping with some of these cult members who most times are the perpetrators of this act? Well, by the grace of God, we are forging ahead despite the opposition. As a matter of fact, some of them have actually turned a new leaf because of this campaign. And for those of them who try to disrupt our seminar, the police are actually on the lookout for them. So, we believe that in no time they'll be brought to book. So, what about the women who aid the men in this act in one way or the other? You mean the pimps? Yes, exactly. Yes, um, uh, on that area we are, we are actually working on it seriously, you know, because we know that most times women are also partakers of this, they aid men, you know, I mean, getting girls for them because of money and other stuff like that. They don't know that all they're doing is they expose the girls to the ills of the society. So we're actually addressing the issue and, you know, making them understand that what they're doing is not good. Mm. We are working on it seriously and I believe that very soon we will be able to come up with something really positive. So what you're trying to say is that in no time all those dangerous acts will be reduced in our country. Yes, um, that is actually our target. Even if we cannot um, completely eradicate it, but at least we hope to reduce it to the barest minimum. That is my daughter talking boldly on the television. Yes. Well, all thanks will go to you, you know. I mean, it's not easy. I've never seen any woman who does that. You must really be strong. Oh, I think all thanks should go to God. <laughs> well, the women out there, you can see for yourself that the young woman who I presume is not yet married, or are you? No, I'm not. Okay, so you can see now that um, she's doing a very good job, and I wish the viewers out there and everybody listening to this program would understand what she's trying to do in our country. So, thank you, Miss Maria. My daughter will certainly go places. Oh, yes. It runs in the family. You see, Choma was like that. And she was alive until death took her away. Well, thank God that you've given me my way. She's the only one I have, bro. I pray God to keep her for me. I mean. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Good day. So, who are you? Well, sir, I am Sergeant Aja, and here is my colleague, Constable Taye from the police headquarters. So, what can I do for you? Well, sir, your son, Thompson, alias Tornado, is declared wanted by the police, and we are here to get him arrested. Why? What for? He was linked to a bloody shootout that took place a few days ago at a hotel to disrupt an anti-women abuse seminar. So where is him? What you are saying is strange to me. 
I came in a few hours ago from Paris on a business trip and I've not even seen Thompson. Sweetheart, are you aware of this information? Aware of what? I'm just hearing it for the first time too. So I will want him. Mister, I said I came in a few hours ago. I have not seen Thompson. Besides, I, I, I don't think Thompson will involve himself in what you are saying. I suggest you leave that for the place to sort it out. But now, if you know his whereabouts, kindly let us know. It's unfortunate. I don't know. I've not seen him. Okay, sir. We'll leave. If he comes back, tell him to report to our station. As a good citizen, I think I will do that. Thank you, Chief. It's my pleasure. Thank you. When did you see him last? I told you he came here last month demanding for 200,000 naira, which I didn't give him. So he took the jeep away. Thompson is becoming something else. Honestly. And I must do everything possible to clip his wings. Before he gets himself into some trouble that millions of Naira will not solve. But the question is, where is he? And why is his handset switched off? Could it be he knows something about what the police men alleged? Anything is possible. Anything is possible with Thompson. <laughs> Thompson is now a hard nut to crack. And I must go after him. I must really go after him before he completely gets out of hand. Uh -uh. What is all this nonsense? Darling. Darling, wake up. Huh? Wake up. Ah. Darling, are you still awake? Eh? I can't sleep. Why? I'm dead worried about Maria. Maria? What happened to her? Any sad news? Not at all. Ah. I'm just worried about her dropping the securities attached to her. As long as that boy, Tonado, is still at large, Maria's life is in jeopardy. I thought as much. You see, one thing wrong with Maria is she is overconfident. Eh? She thinks she's safe without those security. But I know personally that she's not safe. Eh? It is not that dead. Maria is still just a kid. Do all you can to restore the security before she gets killed by those cultists. I'll do something about that. Please, lie down. It's soon be morning, eh? Don't worry. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of good morning to find out where I can get some security for her.
something so important, really. Won't you at least offer me a seat? Come for reconciliation. Reconciliation? Were we at war in the first instance? You know, I've, I've thought of all the problems and embarrassment I've caused you, and, and everything in general. But that's why I've come to ask for your forgiveness. Please forgive me, Maria. Susan. Are you sure of what you're saying? <laughs> of course, I am very sure. <laughs> I just want you to, to believe me for once and forgive me. Y you, you see, I, I've not been myself ever since I came to realize that all these things, all this lifestyle, you know, they're of no use. I've, I've now come to realize that um, I need a good sense of direction now. Please forgive me. So, what about your colleagues? Tornado and the rest of them? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know anything about them. I've not seen them for some time now. And I need your help. <laughs> you don't believe me, right? Of course I don't believe you. Maria, you better believe me. I'm a changed person for real. I've, I've come to realize that there are more to life. So, have you left your evil ways? I mean, you're pimping, you're hanging around deadly cultists. Have you left all those things? Maria, that was in the past. I now live a new life. Susan, I ask you again, where are your colleagues? Tornado and, uh, what, what is it called? Silence or whatever. Where are they? I don't know. I've not even seen them. And I, I heard the police uh, after them. Is it true? Oh, yes. The police is after them. The school authority is after them, even the office of the vice president. Oh my god. Maria, tell me it's not true. But it's true. Let me tell you something, Susan. Everybody in Tornado's clip is going to go down for it. If you've actually changed, as you've claimed to have, then I just want to wish you good luck, because if you haven't, the arms of law are stretched out. And girlfriend, you will not be an exception. So, take my advice. Maria, believe me. I am a changed person now. You better be. She just came in here. What for? I don't know. She says she came for reconciliation. Reconciliation? <laughs> How? See, Maria, you have to watch it too. I am very sure Susan was here on a different mission. I think she's up to something. I want to believe that she's up to something. Yeah, she definitely is. For now, you guys still have to lie here. Because from the information I got from Maria, the 
police are still on the lookout for you guys. <laughs> Tonado, especially. <laughs> still coming. My man, don't you wait. Susie, the police are looking for you. No, no, baby, the police are looking for you. Forget the fact that you are hiding. If they want war, we will give them war. Tornado. That girl is biting more than she can chew. <laughs> Tornado Aroma the Basanta. Tornado of all people. Alright. We shall see who wins at the end. See, that girl is not too big. Please. To the Red Warrior. But not to the Red Warrior. But that girl needs to be dealt with, for real. We don't care, you now, sister. You don't tell him fuck off. Leave us, no, we handle fuck up. You don't table and we go treat her. No, no, no. All the same. To the red warriors. Okay, to the red warriors. Thompson, where are you? Dad. I have a little problem with some people. So I decided to lay low for a while. But I'm fine. I'm okay. Oh, don't even hide away from your parents. Is that what you're telling me? That you won't understand. Okay? However, that's not why I called. Okay, you, you, you said you have a little problem. What kind of problem are we too? Dad, that's not relevant for now. We can discuss that whenever we see. Okay? Then what do you call? Dad, right now, I'm in a hotel room. And as a matter of fact, I can't offset my hotel bills anymore because I'm broke. Thompson, you want to tell me you want some money, isn't it? Exactly, Dad. I need some good money. Say, uh, 150,000 naira. And I want you to pay it into my account immediately. I'm counting on you. Thompson, you are not going to get a dime until I see you. Dad, please, please try, okay? I promise that I will be home by weekend once the case must have cooled off. Thompson, you are wanted by the police. Come home tomorrow so that we can sort this thing out. Dad, can't you get me? Huh? I said I can't surface now. I promise that once I get the money, you will see me. I promise. Are you placing the money as a condition for your coming home? Don't get me wrong, Dad. What's all this? Huh? I told you I need this money to sort myself out. I mean, what was the condition here? Thompson, are you coming home tomorrow? That's my question. Are you coming home tomorrow or not? Thompson, are you there? Thompson! Lydia! Lydia! I came to apologize for my childish behavior towards you after that incident at Tornado's party. I'm really sorry. It was all my fault. Oh, it wasn't your fault. 
After all, I was the person that took you to the party. So, I'm the one to be blamed. Hmm? It's okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Uh, I know you never liked me associating with Maria. Well, that was before. Now I've come to realize that Maria is such a good girl. Have you seen her recently? Actually, I had a problem with her, so I've not seen her for some time now. And that's why I'm here. See, Susan, I want you to help me. I want to join your group, the Red Amazons. My group? Yes. <laughs> you see, Joyce, that is where you get everything wrong. I was never a Red Amazon. Really? Yes. Do I have a couple of friends amongst them, but um, I was never a member. So you mean to tell me that you want to join them? Yes. See, I want to belong. I'm tired of being among the losers. I want to be you know, among the bigger girls, you know, that kind of thing. Please. Anyway, Joyce, I am... Um, I am deeply sorry. The Susan you used to know is no longer the Susan you're seeing right now. I'm a different person. A changed person, per se. But um, if you really want to be a member of the Red Amazon, I can direct you. As in direct you on how to be a member. But my advice to you is, Forget about this people. It will only do you more harm than good. Continue to be a good girl that you used to be. Okay? Uh, Hello? Oh, uh, Chairman. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. Okay, then. Don't worry. I'll call you back later, then. All right, then. Bye. <laughs> um, so, Susan, what you're trying to say now is that my coming here is useless. You can't even help me. Joyce, I've said this before, and I would repeat myself again. Forget about the Red Amazon. It's of no use. Please. Okay. When I go home, I'll think about it. Good. Better do that. So what would your family? Would not offer me anything. My dear. Um, what do you want? I know, but I had to do it. See, 
I'm more than eager to see this book. But to book. I know, but you know we have her photograph already. And have you possibly think of the fact that those guys could actually do an archery as well? So, you are not happy with my discovery. How can you say that? I'm happy. Then what? It's just that... Why is she taking too long? Mm. Only God knows. Tonado, tell her. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, I, I think it's high time we employ a new strategy. And strategy E wouldn't be a bad idea. Now check this out. When next Suzanne is going to visit Maria, Blazer should go with her. You know? All he needs to do is pack the car. Stay in the car on the street. Suzanne walks Maria out of the house and they kidnap her. It's as simple as ABC. It seems you've got a good strategy here. Tornado. Aroma de Basanta. Silencer. De Escobar. Men are holding Terror the Archangel. The humble priest. Men are called me Terror the Archangel. The humble privilege to tidy this fuck up now. Eh? I say I won't risk her. I won't move with Susan. Man, especially now, we be say Maria no get security. Hey! No, God, I know they focus again. No, so let's feel me. I, I they relate. Guy, 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 guy. Is that a the bathroom? Hello, guys. What's up? Why did you keep us waiting? <clears throat> What's new? Well. We're striking tomorrow. Everything is set. Susan, be sure of your promise. That girl should have been caged by now, if not for the facts that we've been laying low. And her parents would have been searching for her, just like we have been searched for by the police. Trust me. By this time tomorrow, she will be reported missing by her parents. The only thing I need is just um, some money to tidy up some things, you know. How much? Uh, well, 20,000 naira would do. <laughs> Susan, I will give you 10,000 naira. But that will not be enough for my expenses. You know, I'll run around, do so many tidings, but it won't be enough. Just make it 15,000 naira then. But sister, how do they relate like this? Now you know the story. Hold the time. Mm -hmm. Hold that time up there. Hold that time up there. Manage 10,000 naira. That's all I can afford. I'm out of cash. Alright. I'm just managing it. Consider it done. Can I have the money now? In the calm. In the calm, my bad. Excuse me, young lady. Your son's on right. 
No, I'm not. Hold it there! Middle of the SSS. <laughs> what are you guys doing with my picture? Are you kidnappers or what? We know that you're Susan, so don't deny it. Where is Tonado and the rest of them? Please, I don't know what you guys are saying. And you guys are embarrassing me here. What is this? Come on, girl. The post to help yourself. I don't have to go to school. But I have to show us we are Salesa and Padasa. Young lady, I want you to cooperate with us. We want Tonado and the rest of them. I don't know what you're saying. Please, just let me go. Listen up, young lady. Don't waste my time. Where are they? We know that they're right here. I don't know these people. I don't know what you're saying now. How can I lead you to someone I don't know? How come this lady? How come? Okay, put down now, bros. Wait. Um. Okay, we, we, we can we can settle these things quietly. So, what what do you want me to? I just wanted to lead us to them. Uh, uh, how? No, all you need to do is just to you make a call to them right now. Tell them that you just had an accident. Just, just, just that. Yeah, just that. Hold it down. Taxi driver just hit me now. What? Is it serious? Yes, I have a lot of bruises all over my body. Just calm down with terror so that you guys can rush me to the hospital. I'm in pain. Oh, okay, I'm on my way. Wait, wait, wait. I'm on my way. Okay. All right, I'm waiting. My. Impressive. Thank you. Please take care to me. Come on. But, 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 come, come. It's all right. You're going to be all right. Okay, okay. okay. Just Hey. You guys should go immediately and find out what the situation is. Mm. But of the SSS. Uh-huh. Where is Tonado? Tonawu. Where is Tonado? Sorry, we don't have an idea of what you're talking about. We know. Pack up this man. Confirm that, yes. I want to see... Hey, you going to stop there. Don't move. Don't step an inch. Otherwise, I'll blow your brains off. But you said move. Move. Sit down there. Sit down there. Sit. Move. Sit down. That's it! No. Why you they wound me? Susan, why did you betray us? They wanted to kill me now. They wanted to do what? To kill Shut me. up! Go over here! Move! 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 Move!
Who's that? Uh, tornado. Uh, Nami, Nami, Terror. Terror. What's going on? Where, where is she? What's the answer? Oh, it's... Hey, 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 Sit! Terror, you're Tornado, right? You are this man. You are Tornado. Yes, I am Tornado. What, what do you want? You gave us all. You're under arrest. For what? We are men of the SSS. And so what? what? Shut up! You can't walk in here and start punching guns at anybody! Listen, I, I don't give up. Shut up! Hang on this man! Oh, wait, 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 hold it. Hold it! Hold it! I want to speak to my father. Let's see, man. Maybe he'll be the one to shut up. Oh, shut up! Let's, let's see, let's see! Don't love you. Let's see. Shut up! Not okay. the point that okay. thing that way, not the point that thing. Yes, yes. Your son Tonado has just been arrested by the men of the SSS. We just want to get you informed. Uh, where did they arrest him, please? Good day, Chief. Where? Hello? Where? Where? Hello? Hang up this man! This You're going to lose your you jobs. Sit down. Sit down! Sit your cuff ass down! You don't. We better talk this thing over without this arrest! I promise you, you will lose shot of my job. Move it! Move it! Move it! Move it! It's okay! It's okay! It's okay! Move it! Guys, stop this! Move it! Move it! Don't stop your mess up! Move it! You will know! Guys, wait a minute! Let me solve it now! No, no, no! Since you don't want to settle this here, you will know! I don't want to change it! Move it! Move it! Move it! Move it! Move it! Shut up! No, not the pressure! Shut up! Who was arrested? Eh? Your son Thompson has been arrested by men of the SSS. And where did they take him to? They didn't even tell me. I was trying to find out. They, they never mentioned any people. <sighs> Thompson. Wait. Let me call him. Thompson. Thompson, I will not die for you. God, no, you will not kill me. And yes, yeah, because I didn't kill my own father. What kind of human being is this? It's not good. Huh? Thompson. Oh, AIG Peters. The day is very sad for your friend. My son has just been nabbed by men of the SSS. And I don't know where they have taken him to. I don't even know where they come from. Funny enough, the men who arrested him refused to wait and get richer. In fact, it's a long story. I only want him out of the hands of the guys that arrested him before it becomes late. I know that their director general is your pal. Please, I want you to get in touch with him and see how he could help out. Do everything within your power, please, to get him out. Possibly let the, the, the case be transferred to any police area command. Yes, with area A, I'll be very comfortable. I can handle it. Please. I'll be glad. I'll be, I'll, I'll be waiting for your call. God bless you. Thank you very much. I wish we were there to hear the horrifying story of your son's behavior in and outside the school. He hardly attended lectures. Stopped going to the classroom completely. Hmm. 
Thompson disappointed me, Lydia. I was totally ashamed of myself at the area command. Thompson disappointed me. It. Have you seen it? You spoiled Thompson right from when Thompson was still a toddler. You never scolded him. You never allowed anybody to talk to him. And now he has become a headache for the both of us. Hey, Thompson, how have I wronged you? For being nice to you as a father or what? No. This is one million question you will always live to answer me. Yes. So, what did you please say? My dad wasn't easy. <laughs> Thompson, I spent well over three million naira to bail you and your cohorts. Besides, I signed an undertaking that nothing, absolutely nothing, will ever happen to that girl. Now that all eyes are on you, you have to leave this country in the next seven days for London. Dear, you will continue your studies. Thompson. Thompson. You have to go. Please, you have, you have to just leave so as to stay away from all these troubles. <laughs> you have to go. I'm not going anywhere. Why? Why? I prefer to study here in Nigeria. That you prefer to study here in Nigeria? Honestly, you are mad. Thompson, you are mad. You have spent eight years, eight solid years, in three different universities. God, you're not even sure of graduating by the end of this session. You have to go. Go and join your siblings abroad so as to be useful to yourself. You hear me? Mom. Dad. Taking the horse to the stream is not the problem. But forcing the horse to drink water is the problem. The horse must be forced to drink water this time. Thompson, the horse must be forced to drink water. It is all about your life. Your life alone. I have made a name for myself. Thompson, I am talking about you. You must go. Dad. I'm not going anywhere. I've made up my mind. Thompson, come back here. Come back here. If you persist, you are not going anywhere. You stand to be disowned. Take it or leave it. What kind of a man did this? Is? I don't know what is his problem. Travel abroad, I don't know. He refused. And he has dual citizenship. God. He wants to die here. He wants to die in Nigeria. Arabat is passato. That going about answering useless names. The girl Joyce stole your picture and handed it over to Maria. Then it got to the men of the SSS. Fine. How then did they find out where we were hiding? <laughs> Man, come on, I die this tra tra tra. Eh? The first still remain say Susan flagged us down. Now, mess of day ground, so. And for the first say this mess of day ground, man, it must be treated. Now. They followed out to the hotel. That's it. 
Susan, you were loose. Too loose. She lost concentration. But how would I have known that I was being followed? This girl just came to my room and though I suspected her, but I didn't know she I didn't know what she was up to. Tell her the archangel. Mm -hmm. Tornado Aroma de Basanta. Our Lord's prayer. Remember? Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us. Silence, sir. Hmm? No be you talk more. I saw in there for Bible. But my man, the fat be say this girl flag men down. And based on this, her mess of day grand and it must be treated accordingly. Are you sure? So, uh, am I forgiven now? Susan, leave. Leave. Please, I'm sorry. This now, hey, on to routine. Tomato, silencer. Tell, it's time for your own treatment. You betrayed me. How? Why did you bring the man to the room? But men, I know the story. Eh? Susan gave us a false alarm. I can't move with silencer. No, when we go there now, on another thing we see. I may know who. What do you want me to do? Silencer. This one you're quiet like this. You, you know, follow me, go again. Just died like that after all he did. Just because his father is highly influential. You know something, girl? Whatever happens, the struggle continues. Yeah, sure, no sure, going back. Sure. Well, sorry for not being helpful in the recent times. It's okay. It's not been your fault. Your mother's life is very important as well. So, when is the meeting with the what clever representatives coming up? I think for this time. I'll miss it. Why? I'm going back to the village tomorrow to see my mom, to know how she's doing. It's okay. I'm sure you'll be here with us in spirit. Wow, spirit. <laughs> we don't need spirit, we oh, need you in flesh. No, the spirit. <laughs> no, let him go and see his mother. Oh my god! 
Jesus, please come. Let's take her to the hospital. Oh. Who said so? I know it! You killed her! You killed Joyce! Debbie! <sighs> Debbie! Debbie! How many times did I come? Withdraw that statement right now. I won't! I won't! You killed an innocent girl, Thompson! <gasps> Thompson, you are heartless. You are a killer. Talk to me, that one. I am walking out of your rotten life. Say, what's the matter with you now? No, I was afraid. No, I was afraid. <laughs> Baby. Baby. Tornado. For God's sake, man, I saw Debbie outside crying. Now, what's the problem now? And what stopped you from verifying from her? I tried to, but she walked out on me. Anyway, I'm true with her. <laughs> oh, boy. Tornado, what stops you from treating Debbie like a queen that she is? For God's sake, that girl is your baby. She's your bully. Tara, is that why you came to see Tornado? You call her, sure. So you're here for business, not for Debbie. So? I want us to go on a ride. Right now. Something just came up, and I want to fix it. A right to where? Something just came up, and I want us to go fix it. I will explain why we ride. Okay? Tornado, Tyro the Archangel is not in the mood for a ride right now. Terror the Archangel. Tonado is requesting that we go for a ride. Something just came up and I want to fix it. You don't have to be in the mood.
<laughs> My man, Tornado Aroma de Basanta. Taro the Archangel, the young say he is not in the mood for a ride right now. I they try communicate to but we go relate later. Such is life, my daughter. Is it a pity? Joyce, such a nice, easy going girl. Killed in cold blood. May her soul rex perfectly in the bosom of the Lord. Amen. See, all we owe her here on earth is nothing but our fervent prayers. That's all. The same vicious cycle, same mastermind. The society is so nonchalant that nobody is ready to fish out the killers. Well, I will fish out the killers. I will do just that. Just standing there staring. Sit down. Susie, it's talking from me to you. It symbolizes my deep interest in you. <laughs> For me? Yeah. It's a symbol of my deep interest in you. <laughs> what do I say? I love you, Suzanne. I love you so much. You see, I've... Um, I've been thinking about you lately. Please accept this, please. Are you... Sure of what you're saying, or are you just trying to tease me or something? No. I'm not teasing her, you know that. When I say something, I mean it. Now, Susie, stare into my eyes and tell me I'm teasing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm just. I'm just confused, you know, because we've been together, you know, all this while. You, me, Tornado, the boys, and, and I don't know. More, that is the more reason why I fell in love with you. <sighs> See, Susie, I know you. I know you so well. 
we have the same breed, remember? When I say I love you, I mean... <laughs> What is it? Are you okay? I don't know. Do you remember that girl I killed? What's her name? Um, Joyce. Yes. Do you know that since I, I killed her, I've been having this strange feeling. She keep. I don't know. I can't place it. Her blood. Her blood is too strong. I, I, I don't know. I, I Come off it, Silencer. What is all this? Is this your first time doing this? Don't mind. Don't bother yourself with that, okay? Just calm down. It's nothing. This is not my first time. It's not my first time, and you know it. That's more reason why I'm surprised. Susie, search me. And, um, as regards to this, I'll, I'll give it a thought. Okay. Okay. So, what would you like to take? I never knew Tonado was a bloody murderer. If I had known, I would have given it to you. After all, you approached me before he did. People say that it's better late than never. Baby, all I want you to know is if you are through with Tonado. Baby, so that I can get into the heart of yours and take what rightfully belongs to me. Yes, I'm true with him. Never will I forgive that sadist. But I, 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 I feel like staying away from you people. You're still his friend. You know better than him. Huh. Baby, come on. Okay, well, a wise man said that if you don't know me, you can't judge me. But, baby, I want to give to you what you couldn't get from Tornado. Baby, I owe you my heart. It's, it's not about the money here, baby. It's about the love. Baby, I love you. Kiss me, please, please. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Kiss me. Leave me alone, please. Let me pick up the pieces of my life, please. Baby, listen. Baby, listen. Calm down. Calm down. I won't hurt you. Baby, I promise I won't hurt you. Baby. Okay. Okay. Zero. Oh, my God. Wrong. I said, Billy! Oh, so this is it. Oh? I can see the reason for your rebellion recently. You should have told me you wanted Debbie. I mean, you should have told me that you were not happy with my relationship with Debbie. <laughs> but you betrayed me first, man. Now come to think of it, you knew I was interested in Davy, and you get crashed into the action and you stole her away from me. Now judge by yourself, man. Who betrayed who? <laughs> Terror. To not do a Roma the Basanta has never betrayed anybody. It has never happened. You would have seeked my consent and uh, I would have given my permission for you to have Debbie. Hmm? Permission? Tornado, these were your words to me. You told me that it was over between you and Debbie. Now, come on, man. This is Tero, the Archangel. Tero needs no permission from anybody to cook up a relationship with Debbie. Period. Tero, 
You've stabbed me on the back. Oh boy. If I stabbed you, you wouldn't have been alive by now. But you know something, man? There's a time for everything. There is time to win. And there is time to lose. You tossed Davy away. And I picked her up. My man, rugged me. I did try to communicate here, and I won't make you reason. But we go relate. Tornado, we go relate. Mama, let her know. Tell her, it's time for you to lose forever. Ever since the last time we spoke on phone. Hey, hey, Mom, you said she's a freshman, right? Uh, a political science student. Yes, did you see her? No, I haven't seen her. I, I right? went to our faculty. I made inquiries about her. No one seems to know her name in I even went to a political science class. So, huh. And the name in Kiru sounded straight to everyone I asked. Even, even the number you gave to me, the number you gave to me, yeah. I tried, called, called, called severally. And it's like the number is not used anymore. I, I don't know. So I stopped. Yes, because I've been trying to reach her for the past two months, but I couldn't. And she herself will be trying to reach me because I changed my line in Europe. It's, it's a mix-up, you see. But you you, you change yours and, uh, and she, I believe she changed hers. Definitely she might have been trying your line and... Hmm? Ozemina, are you really sure you checked her in that department? I'm um, um, I did now. Okay, fine. Now that you're in the country, hmm, we could go check her together for you to be sure. I did. Oh. And mom, come to think of it, don't don't you have a picture with you at least? Let me let me take a look. Surprisingly, she might be someone I know too. Yes, I have, I have a picture. Well, let me see. Let me, let me give it. Mom, I, I hope you brought my bag. Oh, my bag is my everything. Okay. 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 Her English name is Joss. So, could it be that both of you have been meeting each other without knowing? That means she changed her name. I know her too well now. This, this Joyce Oh Donald, my uh, god, this is a small one. Oh, you know your sister. We, we meet almost every day at the library. Come, come. Ozemina, can you see her tomorrow? If she comes to the library, I, I should. Don't hesitate to come with her because I'm planning to travel back to Europe. With both of you, your stepfather can't wait to meet you. So, both of you have been meeting each other without knowing. Joyce, oh, God. Joyce, is a cure. 
It's not your fault. Nobody has introduced you to each other. It's not your fault at all. Please come and sit down, please. Please come and sit down, my baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. I tell them no good. They are members of the society. No tourists in their activity. The one has a tech to kill. They are part of the social ill. They are members of the society. The tourists and the activities, the one has a debt to kill. They are part of the social ill. They are gangsters, that's what they are. Causing trouble all around the school. Terrorizing the neighborhood, they're no good. They call themselves the Red Warriors. They are nothing but destroyers. They're notorious, all so dangerous. Say what? And the society, uh -huh. the tourists and the activity, uh -huh. they won't hesitate to kill. Uh -huh. They are part of the social ill. Say, say, I'm gonna send the society, society, the tourists and the activity, activity. they won't hesitate to kill. Uh -huh. They are part of the social ill. Get out of the way. If you don't, they will put you away. To damage life again. Yes, they're causing people pain. It's just a matter of time They'll run out of time For he who lives by the gun Must surely die by the gun They're members in the society uh -huh. The tourists in the activity uh -huh. They won't hesitate to kill uh -huh. They're part of the social ill They're menace in the society The tourists in the activity They won't hesitate to kill uh -huh. Why? Silence, why? You could have been so. So, 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 so careless to, to kill your own sister out of ignorance, carelessness, recklessness. God, I don't have to tell my mom that I, I, I killed Joyce. My own blood. My sister. Hi! Tonado has killed me. Tonado has killed me, God. Hi! Picking my calls. Susan. Something has gone terribly wrong. Susan, I, I am not myself. Tonado has killed me. Tonado, don't make me, make me shed my own blood, Susan. What are you trying? What are you trying to say? What do you mean, shed your own blood? What's that? What's the meaning of all that? Silence. I talk to me. By the way, I thought you were go, you were supposed to go see your mother. Yeah, I thought. Try to say now. That's what I'm trying to say. She, she told me. She, she told me, Susan. She told me. Told you what? Try and make sense. I don't understand what you what you're saying. Susan, my, my, my mom told me that. My mom. I went to make her, and she told me that. That 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 Joyce. That Joyce is my sister. Joyce is my sister. Which Joyce are we talking about? Joyce. Same Joyce. The one I killed. Can you believe that? Joyce is my Joyce. sister. Hi. Joyce is your sister? And how come you didn't know she was your sister all this while? Listen, listen, Susan. Eh? My mom told me. My mom. I went to see my mom. And she now told me that Joyce, this Joyce I killed was my sister. See, we have different fathers. And do, do my mom told me way back that I have a sister, but... I never knew it was choice. So, so I, I never knew it was choice. I, I, I killed my own sister. I shed my own blood. Tonado instigated me to kill my own sister. I, I, I'm ah. finished. Ah, Tonado, look at that. Oh my God. Tonado. 
Ivan has, 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 has finished me. I can't believe this. I don't try to tell my mom. Susan, don't try to tell my mom that I killed my own sister. For Christ's sake, why is all these things happening right now? Why? Oh no, oh no. You killed your, your sister Joyce? And Tornado killed Terra. Oh no, God. What is all this, God? What is all this? Uh, Susan. What is all this? Uh, you, 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 you said something now. Rephrase, rephrase. What did you just say? Tornado was the one that killed Terra the other oh, no, night. No, 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 no. Please, please. No, 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 Susan. Please, please, don't. T Tornado? Tornado did what? Talk to me. Tornado did what? Debbie told me she saw him kill Terra. Tornado killed Terra. Is your blood? Is your brother? Has he gone mad? Tornado killed Terra the Archangel. Everything is just going wrong. Everything. Members of the Great Confraternity of the Red Warriors send their regards. Uh, I, I don't understand. What's going on, man? Feel me in. I'm a brother. <laughs> Bleed, uh, what, what's the letter for? <laughs> Come on, man. Talk to me. What, what is going you know, on? The letter can tell better. You kill the brother, and you know the consequences. You've been dismissed from the Great Order of the Red Warriors Confraternity. I've been what? Huh? Great. From this day onwards, drop that name to Nadu. What? Because he belongs to us. Blade, you, you're joking. Tell me you're joking. Good night. Violated by, you know, all these miscrants. And I'm not talking about uh, women liberation here. What I'm trying to say is that we should learn to keep our dignity as women intact. I'm going to say this as well. People now come to tell, you know, some of us that oh, there's so much money to be made somewhere. You know, they want to take you, introduce you to some man. They want to take you to some party. They are just deceiving you. All they do is 
they trade you in for money. They expose you to the dangers of life. We don't need that right now. Our future and our education is more, much, much more important. We should, we should treat it with a lot of uh, regard. These days we now have venereal diseases. We have gonorrhea, we have AIDS, syphilis and lots of others. I mean, we don't want to get infected and then cut short our lifespan just like that now, do we? No. You see? That is why you need to come and work with me. Let us put a stop to this menace that is getting deep into our university. We can actually do something. We could be a good example tomorrow. We could, we could, we could live by, you know, live an exemplary life to other people from other campuses. Do not give men a reason to lust after you by dressing in decent. You see, you expose your body when you dress in decently. You're not only exposing what God has given you, what you should keep for your future husband. You expose yourself to men. You see, it, when once they see you dressing indecently, they have a crazy notion about you, which could lead to rape. You know, let us learn to preserve ourselves by dressing decently. When you dress indecently, all you do is you arouse men's uh, sex drive, and they want to devour you. They can do anything, any harm can come to you, and it doesn't even make you look responsible. So what I'm saying today, my sisters, is this. Let us make our mothers proud. Let us live a life that is worth emulating. We are going to have kids tomorrow. We don't expect our kids to, you know, find out that our mothers, uh, their mothers had a very terrible life as, you know, going while well going on. So, all I'm saying in essence is this. Let us put our hands on deck and make sure that we shun evil. Let us trust decently. Join me in my campaign so that we can sanitize this campus and the society. I hope I've made myself clear. Yes. Thank you very much. You could. Our appointment is for tomorrow. Why are you here today? No, um, something came up yesterday. And what is it? Here is the money you gave to me. Didn't you buy the clothes again? No, I'm not interested in that trip again. So what are you talking about? But I thought you were the one that asked me for money. That you needed some money. And I gave you this. For you to tidy up yourself, you know, buy some clothes, tidy up yourself, look sexy for the trip. And, and here you are telling me that you're no more interested. I listened to Mara yesterday. Her speech really, really scared me. Sorry. Ah. You're no longer interested. Leave my house. Leave my house. Leave my house. Go. Leave my house. Look at, look at an ingrate I'm trying to help. To brush you up. You're no longer interested. Donado Aruba de Basanta. What are you doing in my residence? You brought the castle. What are you doing in my residence? Um, Dad, I, I, I um, want. You said you, you answer me. Dad, 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 wait. Um, Mom. Mom, I, I want to talk to you. I, I want to talk to you and Dad. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. No, 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 I'm not going to be here. Let me finish it myself. No, no, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Then why are you here? Um, Daddy, I, I want to travel. I want to go anywhere you want to send me. Uh, are you sure of what you're saying? Or is this another game plan to get my money for your reckless life? No, no, no. I'm not playing games. I'm ready to travel. I'm ready to leave the shores of this country. Please. God, please don't shoot. Now, where's my jeep? Your, your jeep. 
the jeep. Then I will explain everything to you, okay? I will, I will explain everything. Daddy, please, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm ready to go anywhere you want to send me. Uh, America, I, London, anywhere, please. Now come up there. I should come. Yes. Um, that, put away the gun, please. Come up there. What's up? Silence, can you imagine? Maria is at it again. She is at it again! How? How? W -w what has she done this time? See me see trouble. She talked to a girl that I had arranged for a client to back off from the deal. Now I have missed the car the client promised me. Then, then go for another girl. Listen. The girl in question, is she the most beautiful girl or the only beautiful girl in the whole world? Okay, what do you want me to do? That girl needs to be taught the last lesson of her life. No, Susan, come off it. I I'm really not done with that now, you know. So what are you trying to say? Does it mean you're not going to be of help to me? Susan, I've got a bigger assignment on my hand to tackle. Take it easy now, relax. Susan, Susan. But Maria, her madness has started again. It has started. Maria. Yes. Can you imagine? Her so-called campaign just cost me a brand new car. Susan, is that why you called me? Yes. Tonado, that girl has really, really stepped on my toes enough. I just want to get her off my neck for good. You heard me. Yes, I heard you. So what are we going to do about it? <sighs> Susan, to be frank with you, I am no more interested in anything that has to do with Maria or your business. My focus is on something else now. Uh, well, I'm here to honor an appointment. So, uh, if you don't mind, I'll see you later. Okay? Take care of yourself.
Exactly. Thank you very much. Um, Thompson, yeah. you have to get ready. You'll be traveling to London in the next two days. That, are, are you serious? <laughs> Mom, <laughs> this is good news. <laughs> wow. Daddy, Daddy, thank you so thank much. Thank you, my dear. Thank you very, very much. Oh, I really yeah. appreciate this. On getting there, your siblings will pick you from the airport. Okay. Okay. Dr. B is handling everything regarding your admission into the university. Okay. He's a good friend. Um, one thing I have to add is this. Within this period of harsh words, trying to smack you, I do this and that, it was all for your own good. That's true. Just for your own good. Trying to make you be a good ambassador of this family. Like I said, I've made a name. All is required of you now is to protect that name. Or keeping it alive. So, while you are there, Please try to be yourself. Be a good ambassador of this family. Okay. Yes, sir. I do believe that after training you, making you be the man I want you to be, in turn, you will look after us in our old age. Uh, one other thing is, I believe you've thrown away that evil jacket of rough life. Ah, Dad, you don't, you don't have to mention it, okay? Like I told you, they are all in the past. I'm a new man now. Yeah. I believe you. And I, and I promise that I won't let you down. Thank you very much, Dad. Thank you, Mom. Let me add to what your father has just said. Now. Okay. T-Boy. Mom? You see, I know that one day you will make us proud. I will, Mom. And that my prayer for you is this. God will take you safely to London in Jesus' name. Amen. I tell you, it shall be well with you. Amen. Amen. And as you know that you are the eldest child of this family, you already know that your siblings are there. Please, I don't want to hear any story. And I know there will be no problem. Take good care of them as an eldest child to them. You yeah? hear? Mom, you don't have to worry. I won't let you down, okay? And I thank you for everything you've done for me, Mama. I'm missing you already. I'm missing you too, Mama. <laughs> uh, that calls for a celebration. Oh, yes. Oh, we'll just yes, go yes, up yes. and have some fun. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, Dad. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Um, Yeah, um, Blade. What's up, Blade? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, Blade. Uh, I want to see you. What for? Um, there is something very important I want us to discuss. Can we see right away? Oh, tonight that we can't, we can't see right away. I'm kind of busy. Maybe I'll call you and give you time when we see you. Oh, okay. I'll be expecting your call then.
Yeah. Silenza. Yeah. yeah. What's up? Uh, where are you right now? Okay. Uh, can we see right away? There is something very important that I want us to discuss. You see, I've been looking forward to this meeting. As a matter of fact, I had it in mind to arrange a meeting between both of us. So I thank you for arranging this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Blade ought to be here by now. I wonder what is keeping him. <laughs> Blade. I doubt if you ever see him again, Thompson. The Red Rose and the Pythons are the terrible showdown somewhere. So Blade took some men over there on a rescue mission. As it is right now, Blade is wanted by the police. They're on his trail. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, Blade and I spoke about this meeting again this afternoon. And he chose this time and this venue. He never told me about any problem. Yeah, really? Okay, let's see how it goes. I hope he comes. Well, uh, Ozem, we've come a long way, and you're like a brother to me. In fact, you're my brother. Ozem and I, for the past eight years, we've been wasting lives. For the past eight years, we've been living this kind of life that we've been living, not thinking about tomorrow. I've had this like a burden in my heart, which I said that I will find a way to let it go so that I can have peace. It is about our lives, Zemina. It's the kind of life we've been living. Zemina, for the past eight years, I've been in this university, not thinking about graduating, I've just been wasting lives. Yeah. Like my own boy, Terror of the Archangel. That's just what I'm talking about. Where is Terror today? He's no more. His death is not beneficial to any of us. Right now, we miss him a lot, but we can't have him back. Ozemela, we've been wasting souls. Souls of people that we don't know how much it has hurt their loved ones, their families. It still beats my imagination that Joyce happened to be Nkiru's sister that we've been searching for all these years in the university. Gangsterism will never be beneficial to our lives. You can imagine what we've done in the past years. We rape girls, other people's sisters, we waste souls. All these things we do them without thinking about the repercussion. Ozemina, I want us to change. I want you to change. I want us to think about our life tomorrow. We'll have a better life to live. As I speak to you right now, I'm a changed man. A lot has changed about me. 
He used to know tornado as one tough, hard, and very rough guy. But all those are put behind me, bearing in mind that I have a better future. Zemina, I want you to think about this. Zemina, my expulsion from the Red Warriors confrontality actually made me to sit back and have a rethink about my life. As a matter of fact, it was a blessing in disguise. It might interest you to know that I will be leaving this country for the UK by tomorrow. I'm not just leaving because I have the opportunity to. I'm walking away from the kind of life we've lived. I'm walking away from my past to start a better life. Ozemina, you might not have the opportunity to do so, but I believe you can change your life while living here in Nigeria. I would want you to graduate from this university. I want to see you in a better place. Ozemina, I want us to grow old together, as to see our grandchildren. That is the dream of every man. Ozemina, my brother, please, I want you to think about this. You will forever remain my brother. You will always be my brother. I wish you good luck in all your endeavor. Don't say please have a safe trip, okay? Thank you. Thank you. I'll miss you. Don't forget to call, okay? yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter and like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Proverbs 6.5 <laughs> And like our homeboy Tero used to say no be meyana my bible they communicate I'll come with you guys later well uh, alright guys uh, uh, just for the records. Yes. Holiday! Identify yourself at once. Because you're standing in front of men of the police force. I said identify yourself! What do you have there? Where? Under your clothes. What? Let me see. What do you have? Tracked you down. Now you have every right to remain silent for anything you do or say now will be used against you in any court of law. Now we Shut up your mouth! 
How do you know where you are? Excuse me, madam. I know you. Madam. 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 Your son is a deadly cultist. He's a murderer. He killed one Thompson, a bit to me, also known as Tomedo. My son is never a killer. He can never be a You talk. Go ahead and tell her how many people you've killed. Go ahead. Won't you talk? My wife crying. Hi. Mom, you want me to talk? Stop crying. Stop crying. Talk to me. Talk to her now. Mom, the officers are right. What? I killed Thompson and beat me. <laughs> Mom, I'm no longer the Ozoi man I used to know. I'm no longer your little Ozoi man. Like I said, Mom, I'm a deadly cultist. <laughs> I am a member of the Red Rose Fraternity, aka Silencer the Escobar. Oh. A great hit man. The whole thing changed, mom. The whole thing changed as soon as I got admission into the university. But why did I kill my own friend? Why did I kill Tornado Aroma de Passanta? Thompson had beaten me, aka Tornado Aroma de Passanta, was a member of the Red Rose Fraternity. Ah. My deputy Capone. He heard at me. He killed me, mom. What did you do? What? He made me shed my own blood. Your own blood? How's the man that you owe me? How do you mean? How do you mean my son? How do you mean your own blood? Mom, you don't get it, do you? Mom. Tonado made me. Mom. What? Tonado made me kill. Tonado made, made me kill and kill Joyce. Mom, I killed and killed. I killed both. I killed and killed. Mom, I killed Joyce. I killed my own sister. Mom, I killed and killed.
just for the records. Has fully recovered. Oh, they are fine. They are fine. She's okay now. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> so, how about your stolen car? Have you heard anything about it? I haven't. So, you know, um, the police are still going on with their investigations. But my daddy just promised he was going to buy me a CRV Jeep next week. Easy life. That's the victim. Oh, that's the kind of car you need. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God the battle is now over. Nah. The battle is not yet over. So far, we thank God for the progress we've been able to make, but trust me, um, the fight is still very much on. We still have a lot in front of us. It's okay. Now, I hope you came back with some home goodies. Enough. Like, Enough. Oba. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. I know what you like. Maria. Maria, please, I need to talk to you. Um, I uh, have I've come to apologize to you. And I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. It's for real. And to prove it to you, I, I brought back your car. My car? Yes. You, you see... I was the one that sent the boys that, that snatched your car from you. And I did all these things just to get back at you. Because your, your campaign against women abuse, it was destroying my business a great deal. Please just, just find it in your heart to forgive me. Maria, I've come to realize that you're a strong woman. And you have a vision. Please just forgive me. And I want to I want to help you in your campaign as well. I don't have a choice. You see, Tero is dead, Tornado, Joycey, and Bond, my late boyfriend. Who knows, I might be the next person. I'm so sorry. Please just find it in your heart to forgive me, even you as well. I, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Well, um, Susan, if you say you are truly sorry, and you know that it comes from the depth of your heart, what can I do but forgive you? I forgive you. You don't know how, how glad I am for this. And I don't know, I, I pray God will forgive me as well. You know, God is a merciful God. And as the saying goes, to err is human. And to forgive is divine. Thank you very much. Come here. And you um, forgive me as well. Okay. Mm. 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 <laughs> Thank you, I'm so happy. It's okay. Well, let there be peace.